Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to look at the Edge browser for the iPad Pro. So, you know, the point of this video is that, you know, now a lot of people are thinking about whether or not the iPad Pro could replace their laptop. So I thought I'd make this video for anybody who is a big fan of Edge, or just anybody who has to use Edge for work or whatever, and um, are thinking about using this on the iPad Pro, can it work for them? Uh, what are the drawbacks and is it usable so i'm going to just go through and um, show you guys a few things i'm not super familiar with edge myself uh, so we're going to be learning this together and ex exploring uh, some of the drawbacks together so full disclosure i am using a mx master 2s mouse and a keyboard i'll also be um, swiping through as well so you know the idea is that this would be replacing some of these laptops so i thought the best thing to do was have a mouse and keyboard as well since that is going to be part of the experience so we're just going to click on a article you know this is the stuff of course you expect to work you know if it fails here you've just failed it's just a crap app all right so this works you know normal stuff the scrolling works pretty well it's pretty smooth pretty smooth you can highlight things nice Copy, nice, paste, nice. You've held command, you can see all the keyboard shortcuts. They work. Now you guys might think, oh, this is simple. But some browsers have failed this very simple test of just scrolling up and scrolling down using a mouse. Okay, so I don't know what this means. Okay, this is to sync stuff up. And I guess this is bookmarking. Let me try a website. Let's try Stripe. So we're using Bing. Yep, it's Bing. So you can see here. Yeah, so everything works as you would expect. All right, so let's try some more complex things, all right? So let's go to YouTube. Oh, okay, here's an issue. It's a small issue, but when you're, when you're typing, and for example, you find these suggestions and you press the arrow key, nothing happens. So, you know, that's a bit of a, you know, it's not ideal. Anyway, let's see what happens when we click YouTube. Okay, so like most of the browsers here, it just opens the YouTube app. If we right click, we have the option of doing opening new tab. Very, very, very nice Microsoft, I appreciate that. Because actually some other browsers have failed at doing that. Unfortunately, it's actually failing at opening. Okay, no, that must have been my thing, my issue. So we'll try this again. Now that I've agreed, we can try and open a new tab. It doesn't take you to the new tab, which is a bit annoying, but it does work. So, cut them some slack. Aha, so, so this is not the YouTube desktop site. This is the YouTube mobile site. For whatever reason, Edge is giving you the YouTube mobile site, which sucks. The reason why I say it sucks is because you can get a better version of the mobile site just by using the app. The desktop site is actually really good if you need to go into like settings and that kind of thing. So I'll show you the desktop site. Um, to be fair, Safari has it. So you can see here, this is very clearly different to what we had here. This is just here and then this is just a video and then some suggestions. If you go into the actual desktop site, you can see there's a lot more options. Picture in picture, cinema mode, full screen, airplay, um, you know, tabs. It's just way, way, way more engaging. It's, it's just a better experience. So we can see, maybe you can call the desktop site. We can try. Aha, uh -huh, so view desktop site. So let's see if this actually works. 
great okay so you can actually get a desktop site now as you can see it's not the same as we have in safari safari just has the better experience again i'm not sure what edge is doing here um, this is quite strange i'm guessing it thinks i have a smaller screen than i actually do um i think so anyway so let me see maybe i just have to click another video no it's still not giving me the side a sidebar like this one in safari but overall you know i can't complain too much at least it does give you an option to do the desktop version okay so let's look at bookmarking okay so they don't call it bookmarking they call it favorites so you do collection okay so that kind of works again like everything else there is no extensions for these browsers but that's the same with all browsers on ipad os to be honest i don't like the design of this thing to be honest um edge i'm not sure why this and this is here you know i think most browsers just kind of keep it more clean but look let me let me not critique the design um overall so far you know it's 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 okay i mean i'll be honest this is one of the worst ones i've tried so like i've tried firefox brave chrome safari i would say this so far is the worst of them all it just feels a bit clunky and feel as smooth i don't want to judge the design too much because this this is not what the video is about so we'll just try out a video on vimeo and see if it works so yep it works you can do all the stuff you need to do typical works well no problems here looks like you can also sign up with outlook as well so that worked for you but you know a lot of these the reason why i'm not testing things like outlook or sheets or you know uh, google sheets or anything like that is because they have dedicated apps and i'll have a dedicated video to kind of explore whether or not or how those complete experiences compare with their desktop cousins uh, so i won't go into that too much in this video this video was just a super simple way of trying to see if this edge browser can be used by somebody who's very used to it you know someone who's come from maybe a windows pc maybe the you know edge browser is their browser you know for the very few of you i'm guessing <laughs> out there uh, but yeah just to see how it works and if it would work for them on the ipad pro uh, my conclusion to be honest is it's not the best um of all the ones i've tried like i said i think it's the worst um it's still usable and if you had to use it you could use it but um if i had the choice i wouldn't use it personally personally if i have the choice for for work purposes i would use safari um, I would also look at Docs.go if I cared about privacy. Uh, if you don't care about privacy, Chrome is decent. Um, Chrome is decent. Brave is also decent as well. Um, but for me, I think Safari is the top one. Uh, just it just feels more cohesive, and it should because Apple obviously built it for their own products, right? So they're in. They've built the hardware and it's also built the software, so it should feel more cohesive. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And also tell me in the bottom, tell me in the comment section, you know, if you have any apps you want me to try out for you, um, let me know. The M1 iPad Pro is coming out very soon. So if there's any apps you want to try out on that, let me know. Uh, I'll be covering that iPad Pro M1 as well um it's coming out in a couple weeks i'll be covering that um so if you have any questions that's the one thing of this channel i answer all questions if you have any questions please let me know and um yeah so if you're interested in ipad pro or anything else along the line hit the like button hit the subscribe button it takes a moment for you but it means the world to me i appreciate it and i'll catch you in the next one